Hello my dear creative, in this video I will share with you my top 10 tips on creating your best interior design portfolio. So let's get started. First page of your portfolio, it's a good idea to include your photo and resume. Make sure to keep your resume nice and relatively short. This is a great way to start out your portfolio as it gives a great overview of your skills. I recommend you to start and end your portfolio in a really strong way, so select your best project. So here, for example, I've included my diploma project, which won an architectural contest. So select your best thing and show it first. Next, be sure to demonstrate your technical skills. Include your CAD drawings, show that you can draw out and design a plan, add a couple of electrical drawings and any other special drawings or special skills you may have. Another great idea is to demonstrate a progression of project from initial concept to final design. So here you can show your very first sketch, mood boards, AutoCAD flow plans and any other mechanical plans, elevations and 3D renderings. Well, if you are a beginner in interior design world, if you lack experiences as the majority of interior design students, then in your portfolio you can obviously show off your school, university assignments that you really like, select your best projects that you are most proud of, show your best work. Usually five to seven projects are enough. Here you can show your projects like in commercial design, hospitality industry, residential projects. Then you can include paid projects you did on the site if you have ones. But make sure you have correct categories displayed. The important thing here is to keep everything clean and crisp as it will make your portfolio look professional. You should prove with your beautiful presentation that you are a skillful interior designer. Add certificates and any other documents that show your accomplishments. If you have any publications in interior design magazines, design awards, include them as well. Because you want to sell with your portfolio your creative services and your expertise, remember that the best interior designer with the worst sales skills will never have as much business as the worst interior designer with the best sales skills. Think about what your client really wants and needs and how you are going to be able to deliver on those wants and needs. How he will benefit from you rather than the other interior designer. What value do you bring to the table? If you can sketch and make perspective drawings and hand renderings, include them as well. Clients really love hand drafts as this ability to draw makes them think that you are an artist. So show your wide range of talents. If you struggle with hand rendering and want to master sketching with markers in perspective drawing, check out my e-courses on my website through wolgard888.com. Here, as you can see, I've included some of my academic drawings, a couple of watercolors, colors and uh, landscapes. So these all really enrich your design portfolio. Another important thing is to keep your portfolio up to date. So check it once a year or every other year and delete some outdated projects and include your new designs. If you don't want to offer it, don't show it. Let it be a mantra for the portfolio creation process. I mean, if your goal is to work on restaurants and hotels in a contemporary style, don't show your clients examples of residentials and classic. If you want to get even more tips on creating your best interior design portfolio, check an article on my blog. I've included a direct link to it in the description box. So there you may find some fresh and interesting ideas for your portfolios. So definitely check it out. All right, my creative friend, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.